That was sick. Did you see those moves? What is up, everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. We're playing Hunting Simulator 2. Can you tell? Can you tell we're playing Hunting Simulator 2? Last we played, we were uh, spending a lot of time in Pawnee Meadows. Now, we kind of finished up Pawnee Meadows. I mean, to the point where I'm, I'm happy we got one of every animal. Um, we have uh, our bighorn sheep there, our, uh, our puma. These are, of course, only animals that we've gotten matures on. The whitetail not including, that was just from the tutorial. So, uh, yeah, all these animals that we have in here right now, this bighorn, that teal up there, the mountain lion, the boar, um, the bobcat, the, uh, the elk up there, all mature animals. And uh, we're not looking too great on the library at the moment, but you know what? We're gonna catch up, everyone. <laughs> Today, though, something exciting. I figured, you know, somewhere we should go um, this time around is uh, is going into the Rocky Mountains because I've told people before that the Rocky Mountains is one of my favorite maps on this entire place just because, um, you know, there are a good amount of animals there, but at the same time, um, it always seems like, uh, you know, they're hard to find. And so you really kind of appreciate them when you finally find them. Um, cause it's like, wow, I actually, I actually got one. I found one, you know? Um, so anyway, let's look at our loadout right now. We have our backpack on, we have a shotgun and our weapon two, and then our weapon one, it looks like we have the 338 bolt action rifle there. Let's take a look at our items right now. Looks like we have binoculars and weapon or select item one. We have pheasant collar, a predator collar, and a deer collar right now. Um, I'm honestly not sure what other collars we can get. What would help us? Maybe a moose collar? A moose collar would help us. Let's see. We have elk collar, boar collar, moose collar, short goose, short duck, long goose, uh, long duck, and a red deer collar. Honestly, I, I don't think I could. I would use any of those um, for right now, anyway. So uh, yeah, I'd say I think we're ready to go. Let's just go out to the Roosevelt Forest, the Rocky Mountains, as I call it, um, and I'll show you kind of my way of doing this. Because as we get into this map. I'm not going to have any tents, so uh, that is that is going to be part one of trying to figure out how to hunt here in the Roosevelt Forest. And uh, I'll tell you, the easiest way to do it is you'll see where your cabin is right now. And they must have realized that it was going to be kind of hard to find the, uh, the cabins because uh, they did create these little paths that kind of go to cabins, honestly. Um, so if you just follow these paths, they will kind of lead you to cabins. Uh, you see there's one up here and there's one over here and one over here on this lake um so i tell you what we might head east here and kind of make our way through this whole area here i don't think we're probably going to find many uh, like grizzlies and moose and stuff like that i do have favorite cabins to uh hit up for things like that but uh i'll tell you what when we get to the very end whoa golly you scared the crap out of me bjorn three goodness gracious what is your deal, dog? Stop. Stop running. You're scaring me. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to do. Okay. I will say, you know, Pawnee Meadows looks like some place where you should be able to get tons of pheasants. But uh, the place where I've found the most pheasants so far has been here in the Roosevelt Forest. But I've heard other things about the, uh, the Czechia uh, marshlands having a lot of pheasants if you can find out where they usually hang out. Just want to get him close enough to the point where we feel comfortable kind of uh, sprinting out and uh, flushing him. There he is. There he be. These trees are going to be a little interesting. If he flies up into these trees, we might lose him. There he is. There's a down pheasant. He didn't look too big. I didn't think anyway. Let's, uh, let's try to find him a... Fitch! Fitch! Go get him, Bjorn 3! I know he's around here, I just don't know. There he is in all these bushes and stuff. Good job, Bjorn 3! Thanks, bro. We got a young turkey, okay. Or a young pheasant. <laughs> but our first pheasant, all the same. One animal down. Let's, uh, let's keep walking. Hello, kitty cat. Wow! <laughs> I'm kind of eager to see... How Bjorn gets these uh, ducks over here. Bring it up here. There you go. Good boy. Oh no. You gotta keep coming this way. 
I can't reach it, evidently. Hey, there's big horn. Looks like a young one, honestly. It doesn't look too big. Thanks, homie. Go get the yes. We got a mature. We got a mature. We got a mature. All right, found our first tower, and I'm thinking we just drop one of these things, dude. I just got an achievement, the Stand Hunter. Well, we have the goose first. Thank you, thank you. Hey, a mature Ross's goose. I think that's actually one of the ones we already have. <laughs> All right, here's our first tent here in the Roosevelt Forest. Campsite found. Bjorn 3 has got our duck finally. Get over here, Bjorn 3. I'm coming for you, buddy. Look at him, look how happy he is. <laughs> Yes! Good job! An adult mallard there. Okay, top notch. Whenever you see a mountain and you're kind of traveling in the uh, direction of a mountain, it, it may be worth it to always kind of go up here and just take a moment to uh, spot around, see if you see anything worth shooting. When you're up high like this, the one thing Hunting Simulator 2 has going for it when it's a game, when you think about it from a game perspective, is that uh, the graphics of the game actually lower in quality pretty heavily when uh, when you're at a distance of animals. You can spot animals uh, a long ways off to the point where you can't even see them in your scope because uh, you can see them in your binoculars, but your scope just isn't magnified enough to uh, see them. All right, we're up at another high point here. Good job. What did you find? Oh, we found elk tracks. I was gonna say I usually find elk over here is honestly what I usually find uh, Around this outpost if you want to find deer you need to head more into this left side over here um, I'd say even left of this mountain range. And that's honestly where we'll probably go now Okay, so we're now up on top of this other mountain range And this is where we're going to start seeing deer if we uh, if we look hard enough anyway um, we can also start using our collars for deer and try to uh, get them to call back, which will tell us where they are as well. Look at that. Remember how I was talking about the render distance is pretty amazing? There is a white-tailed deer way out there. There's a cottontail next to that stand over here. So, seeing some stuff. Kerpow! 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 There we go, three out of five tents, just like that. Um, so this spot over here, um, and I'll show you where we are. This spot is great for black bear. Um, you will find black bear along this coastline, um, as well as just, I mean, in the forest over here. We'll uh, get out the binoculars and see if we can spot one. And there's our black bear. Not sure how big it is from over here, but I think it'll be worth taking a shot at it, if we can. Wow. So, if you're not picking it up from just, um, me doing it I guess my whole thing about hunting in the Roosevelt Forest is basically running from mountaintop to mountaintop to be able to survey the surrounding area I mean this is no different than people actually hunting um, in the mountains I mean to get up onto uh, a mountain in the morning and you know lay down and just kind of uh, you know search with binoculars um, for anything to uh, pursue to stalk is pretty standard for hunting in the mountains. So um, So that I mean that's yeah, that's exactly what we're doing here. See how big this um, Black bear is would be cool if we got a mature on our first try. All right Looks to be a mature I'm guessing Yeah, it's a mature and we nailed it in the heart 499 yards away on the run. Wow. 
<sighs> Tell you what, if you do better than that, put a pic of it on the Discord. <laughs> I'll I'll figure out something. You'll win a prize of some sort. 499 yard heart shot on a black bear. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Doesn't even have to be on the run. I mean, there's no way to prove that in a picture, so hey. Just just do it. Just, you know. Yay, games challenge everything. Another black bear. I'm telling you, this whole area over here, this island, uh, peninsula, kind of, is, uh, yeah. Is quite the deal. Hello, bear! Row, 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 row. Row, row, row. Bark at him, Bjorn 3. Give him a piece of our mind. Oh. I feel like how I'm just taking shots. Oh my god, we actually got a good shot. That's how people get hurt, by the way. Don't just shoot in the trees. If it's a game, it's one thing, but not in real life. Don't do that. Don't do that, kids. Oh my goodness gracious. What about that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Mature brain shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> brain shot in the trees. In the trees and a 499 yard hard shot. Oh my golly. Oh my golly. Are you serious right now? Okay. Well, we got a mature black bear and a mature mule deer just like that. <laughs> Insanity. Okay. Well,. The worst part is, is that there's not really a, a log cabin around here for a long ways, but we will continue going south here to get to the next log cabin, and this is kind of the area where I sometimes find grizzly bears. They're just kind of difficult to find. They really are. Hey, look at that wide boy over there. Goodness gracious, he is forever away. But you see how I was talking about the render distance? That's our first cabin. Wow, that is a long ways away. Holy shoot. That's a big moose, though. That is definitely a mature moose. I mean, that is a full on satellite dish on his freaking noggin. Bjorn 3 is still standing there next to the tracks he found. He's so happy about it. He's like, ah. Bro, look at these tracks, though. Yeah, no, I, no, I see the moose. I see the moose. But what about these tracks over here, huh? I mean, the moose is way over there, but these tracks are right here. All right, we can finally see the tent way up there in the mountains. That is where I usually go to to find big game moose, grizzlies, stuff like that. Um, but I'm hoping we can use it to find that darn moose that we saw walk this direction. Whoa! That's a grizzly bear. He is northeast of me. Okay. Honestly, I haven't found this darn tent over here. I keep trying to find it. I got lost once I got up in the mountains. Gosh darn. We've lost that darn moose. A really impressive looking moose. We lost it. Um, and then saw that grizzly bear, and now I don't know where the grizzly bear is either. Hey, there's the tent. Goodness gracious. Okay, I think at this point we're just gonna head back to the cabin. I don't. We've seen we've seen a really big moose, and we've seen a really big grizzly bear. Um, unfortunately, Bjorn just can't can't find any tracks around where we saw the grizzly bear um, and the moose. So we're finding lots of rabbit tracks, and it kind of makes you wonder if it's got something to do with you know his expertise in tracking. You know, is it low so we're not finding the big animals, and we're just kind of focusing on fox and rabbits and stuff like that, or, or what what it may be. Um, unfortunately, we're just not seeing just not seeing what we saw before. All right, we've made it back to the main cabin here, and um, tape on the floor. 
we're gonna claim some of these animals here. Mallard duck was a mature. Um, don't need a second one. Uh, this one was an adult, I want to say. Ross's goose was a mature. Don't need that. White-tailed deer. Uh, black bear. That was a mature. We're keeping him. And the mule deer was a mature as well. So right on. We actually got quite a few good animals there. Um, I think we, before we just end the day, um, I am just going to come down here and just make sure it's th those big... Big boys aren't just walking around. That big grizzly and um, that big moose we saw. So that would suck if we just missed them. Gave up on them too easy, you know? Okay. Yep, no luck. I say we just go back to the uh, lodge here. And then we'll go back out for another day and uh, travel around a little bit more. Back in Roosevelt Forest. Let's go to this cabin to start out with because... Or this tent, I suppose. A decent sized moose over there, just a adult it looks like. Whoa! There we go. Another grizzly bear. He is quite a ways away. Keep waiting to see what this grizzly bear is gonna do. I see him coming up to this mountain, and then he disappears. And it's like, okay. Where do you go when you come up to this mountain? Oh, there he is. Now he's over here. Oh, we're gonna have to be quick about this if we can get in there to get a shot. Okay, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Don't you tempt me, pheasant. Does he respond to a predator call? Oh, he does. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. This looks like a decent size one. I honestly don't know if this is going to be a, a mature or an adult. Freaking shot him right in the dome. Right in the dome. Come here, Bjorn. Three. Oh, this is a big bear. It's gonna be close. It is gonna be close. Oh my god, okay, here we go. It's a mature. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. 47 yards away, mature grizzly bear in the brain. Goodness, I saw him coming and I was like, yep, yep, this might be it. Wow. That is so awesome. We're definitely going to have to claim that guy, get him in the lot. Bjorn. Good job. I mean, good job, bud. I mean, I know you didn't do much with this guy, but I still really appreciate the mental emotional support of all this. It's just it's been amazing. I'd like to thank all of my sponsors, Diet Pepsi, all of you who monster you're all amazing. You're all amazing. And I dedicate this grizzly to you. Let's see, I mean, honestly, we just need to get a moose now. I guess we also need to get a cottontail rabbit. We were chasing them in the very beginning. 
and uh, we kind of gave up. <laughs> Little buggers. Oh my golly, that is so awesome. Okay. Now, um, I think I am going to go back. I'm going to try to find a darn moose. I need to find a moose. I actually found yet another grizzly bear. <laughs> but more importantly, um, wandering off in this direction was a moose. It wasn't the biggest moose that I've seen, but it's a decent sized moose. And, uh,. What's good about the direction that he was heading is that it's actually heading towards this cabin. So if we get back down to this tent here, we should be able to move to the cabin and then uh, move along this mountain range and we might be able to see him walking along the side. So that is our game plan right now. We'll see how, how well it works out anyway. Okay. I am thinking, based off of where we last saw the moose, I would have thought he would have been around here somewhere. Yeah, I have no idea where this moose is. And it's getting to the point now where it's like, I feel stupid for not having a moose call with me. I need to carry around a moose call at all times, I feel like. Just because when we get into these situations, it would be nice to be able to call and see if it, you know, hears us or is at least within 200 yards or something like that. Oh! There we go. Aimed a little high just so we could get that, uh, little bit of distance there. But I think he should be down. There we go. There we go. And the last thing that we'll be looking for is a darn, um, you know, uh, a darn cottontail. So once we find that cotton, wow, look at that. Goodness gracious. We got our moose. Got our moose right there, buddy. Top notch. Yep, an adult moose right there. Now we're gonna need to run back to the uh, cabin, which isn't too far away. And um, lastly, we just need to find a darn cottontail. See it. We got him. Turkey down. Turkey down. Let's go. Didn't even need a turkey, but I figured, you know what, since we've got it, kind of a realistic turkey hunt there. Yeah, look at that. Feet in the air. Just what I like to see. An adult turkey, unfortunately. Okay, Cottontail, where are you, huh? Where are you? Jackrabbit. Is it Jackrabbit too? Shut up. There you are. Just gonna keep spotting this dude. It's turning yellow. Got him. Rabbit down. Rabbit down. Oh my god. And this is just the jackrabbit, too. This isn't even the cottontail. There's still a cottontail out here, too, evidently. Goodness gracious, why is there so many darn rabbits everywhere? Please be immature. Yes! Freaking crud, man. Could you imagine? Okay. So like I said, there's still a cottontail out here, evidently. So anyway, I think we're going to end it there. I know that there's probably still a jackrabbit and, um, you know, the cottontail. There's our jackrabbit anyway, but I'm pretty sure there's still a cottontail out there in Roosevelt Forest that we need to get as well. And we're still missing a snowshoe hare from uh, Pawnee Meadows to put in here and uh, mature moose, mature pheasant. There are so many different things we could get in our lodge. But today, I mean, come on, a mature grizzly and a mature black bear. Come on. I would have never guessed that that's what we would find out here. So, uh, yeah, I find... I think that the hunt went pretty successfully. I mean, I'm just I'm just really excited about this guy, to be honest. 
Um, super amazing looking uh, grizzly bear there. I love the size. I love the size. I love the look. Um, I wish that the bears in the Hunter Call of the Wild had a similar face. Um, but yeah. That's all I can say. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful in any way, I hope that you like and subscribe. Oh, I forgot about our mule deer. <laughs> like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we're going to see you in the next episode. We might just end up coming right back out here to Roosevelt Forest um, to get some of those things that we're missing right now. But uh, we got the majority of it, I think. Just missing a cottontail. Anyway, anyway, thank you all for watching, and as always, everyone, keep gaming, never stop. <laughs>